This tutorial covers on-the-fly recodes. When you specify the name of variables for any of the SDA analysis programs, you have a chance to temporarily recode the values of any of your analysis variables. Let's see how this works in the tables program. Another tutorial will deal with the regression program. The most basic recode function is to use the R syntax. For example, in the tables program, we could specify the row variable as educ, which is years of education. And say we want to recode education into uh, groups of years, say from uh, high school or less, college years, postgraduate. Let's see how we do that. OK, we have educ. We do open parens, r for recode, colon. And now we do the ranges we're interested in. So the first one is 0 through 12, up to high school graduation. And semicolon, second range, 13 through 16 college years, semicolon. 17 through 20, and that will be postgraduate. OK, for the column variable, let's just use race and let's run the table. Okay, we can see here on the left we have education, but now it's been broken down into three categories, 0 through 12, 13 through 16, and 17 through 20. Now these category labels are probably adequate for education, but say we want to make them a little more user-friendly. Let's go back and make our own category labels. OK, we do that by simply at the end of each range, entering quotes, double quotes, and then the label. Let's just call this high school or less, end quotes, 13 through 16. We'll just call that college. And 17 through 20, we'll get out here to the end and quotes, and we'll call that post graduate. OK, let's run the table again. And now we see that. The category labels are the labels that we just entered for each range. Makes it a little easier to read, a little more user friendly. OK, let's go back. And one other thing that we can do with this R syntax is say that the values that we've recoded to, which by default just are 1, 2, and 3, say we want, for some reason, to um, make those values 1, 5, and 10. Well, we can do that too. In front of each range, the first one will be 1. We'll say 1 equals in the range. Second range, we'll say 5 equals in the range. And the last one, We'll do 10 equals in the range. And let's run that table. OK, now we can see that we now have 1, 5, and 10 as the category values instead of the default 1, 2, and 3. Um, sometimes this is a useful thing to do. OK, let's go back. and. Um, there's another way of recoding variables, which we call collapsing. And this means that we take a variable with a lot of categories and combine the categories into a smaller number of bins of the same size. And we do this by using the C syntax, C for collapse, followed by the bin size and the starting value separated by a comma. OK, let's take a look at this. Let's replace race by year. Year here is just year of interview. And um, let's collapse the years, OK? So the syntax for collapses, as you might guess, would be C for collapse, 
and colon. And then we want to have the size of the bins we're going to collapse these values into. We want to use decades. So we're going to have 10 for decades and comma, and then the starting value. And we'll just say we want to start with 1970. OK, and then close parentheses. All right, let's run this table. OK, we can see that year along the top here has now been collapsed into decades, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010s. One little wrinkle is you can see that SDA is smart enough to know that the first GSS year of interview was actually 1972, not 1970. So it helpfully makes 1972 the low point of the range. And at the high end, the last GSS year was actually 2012. So it gives you the actual high value of this range rather than simply automatically putting in, say, 2019. OK, so that's collapsing, which is often useful if you're dealing with variables like year or, say, age. And there's one more um, kind of on-the-fly recode that's often useful, and that's range restrictions. Um, this is actually similar to using a selection filter variable, but often it's easier just to put the um, range restriction right after the variable name rather than entering a separate selection filter. Okay, so let's say for year, we are interested in only seeing the results for the GSS from, oh, say, 2008 through 2012. So for range restrictions, you just, um, actually, it's the same syntax as selection filters. You have the variable name and the range. And we'll run the table. And now we can see for year. We only have the three years, 2008 through 2012. GSS only occurs in even numbered years, so that's all we get. And just one final wrinkle for these uh, range restrictions. Actually, you don't even need to enter. The, the, it isn't necessary to have ranges. You can enter individual years. So say for some reason, we simply want to see the years 2000 and 2012. We don't want to see any other years. We can just enter individual categories separated by commas, run the table, and we see we just have 2000 and 2012. X just like a selection filter. OK, so this has been a quick introduction to on-the-fly recodes. All of these types of temporary transformations are available for all of the SDA analysis programs. Temporary recodes and collapses are used mostly with tables and means. Additional on-the-fly transformations like dummy variables and products are used mostly in the regression programs and are discussed in a separate tutorial.